Okay, time for the Cotta Verdera member tip for this month. Um, fall is finally here. It was a beautiful day today. It's kind of winding down now and the sun's going down behind the hill, but man, it was probably in the high 70s today. It was perfect out. So the course looks amazing. Uh, range is in awesome shape. The greens are looking good. The course looks perfect. So um, hopefully we'll have another month or two here of pretty good weather. What I wanted to talk about a little bit today is a little bit of mindfulness. And what I mean by that is learning from all your experiences when you play. So something I've always really struggled with personally is I get too emotional when I play, right? When it's going good, I kind of get overly excited sometimes. When it's going poorly, I get too down and self-deprecating and things like that. And I think all that really interferes with is you learning the most you can from the experience that you're having on that day. So whenever you perform a shot, you have an outcome. And whenever you have an outcome, you can learn something from it, whether it's good or bad, right? So let's just say, for instance, let's say you hit a perfect one and you get done and you hit your finish and everything's in perfect balance and your club twirl it. I mean, you wanna do that all the time. So you gotta be really mindful to what is causing that, what were you feeling and focused on and how would you do that all the time? If you just get excited because you hit a cool driver or you made an eagle or a birdie or whatever, it tends to interfere and change your heart rate and your brain activity and all these things. And this is why, you know, a lot of times, like I'll even go play in the Friday game occasionally and I'll hear guys, you know, they make a birdie and they'll screw up the next one. Ah, oh, you know, after a birdie, I always screw up. And it's like, so doing well can get you too excited. So I think everybody's gotta have an awareness of that. And certainly when you start doing poorly, if you're not mindful of what causing it and you don't change something, well, those are the days when you just keep pumping cortisol into your system and you just kind of spiral down the mountain. So I really think being mindful goes back to your routine and kind of what you learn from that. So I'm gonna hit one shot for you guys and kind of walk you through my post shot routine of mindfulness after I do it. So I'll go a small draw over the flag out there. bit of a, of a light draw. Okay, more of like a tiny push um, and a little bit thin off the bottom of the face. So it didn't feel honestly that great. <laughs> it ended up cool, but I didn't love that swing. Okay, so when I'm playing, I think that would be about, it's only like six or eight feet right of the pin, but I think it would have been about 20-ish feet short of my yardage based on how I hit it. So, you know, let's just say that might be on the front fringe or on the front of the green, you're two putting from 20 to 30 feet. Maybe it'd be on a bunker if the pin was up, up front, something like that. So, but really all I can change is what led to that outcome, because it wasn't that bad either. It's a decent shot. So maybe you might go back through and kind of go, hey, you know, where did that kind of not go as I wanted it to? Why I know what I want to do. I want to make this one. And what I'm feeling there is kind of the sensation or feel of the club going to the target through impact. How was that different than what I just did? Um, yeah, when I got in there, I don't know, I, I kind of felt like maybe the face got a little bit more open on the way back uh, at waist time. That's a tendency that I have. And that kind of like, my mind kind of shot over there and was aware of that. And then on the way down, everything else felt okay, but the face was a little bit open. I kind of thinned it off the bottom of the face. So then maybe before I go to my next one, what I would do is just be mindful too on my takeaway that I want to keep the face a little bit more squaring out in front of my hands rather than getting in here a little bit open. That way, hopefully, that won't happen again. Now, if you get emotional excitement and or depression or anger, it'll interfere with that process. And that's why I think it's really important to be, you know, take a breath, try to be low key. And it really, over the years and 15 years of doing this, most of my top, top players tend to have a this great ability to not be that reactive, right? So. Be mindful, try to control your emotions. We're right in that time of year where if you guys do wanna make some changes in the off season with uh, the staff here, we can certainly help you guys. And I think we're gonna have another month or so of good weather left and the course is in awesome shape. So anyway, I hope everybody's uh, looking forward to uh, the holidays coming up and I hope that's helpful of being mindful next time you play.